We're coming under Stardust orders. In the heat of the Silver Goblets and Nichols Challenge Cup. The event for open international Coxless pairs is about to start. And you can still see on the right hand side there on the Buck Station, the South Africans just not happy. So much movement in the water. But otherwise, I mean, look at that. It's a beautiful day for rowing. You'd want, put, you'd want to put a boat on that. Attention! Here we go. Go! Just squeezed off and again, just the power of the South Africans. It's short, it's stabby, but it's effective. They're out quickly, the steering isn't great here. And what they're doing is they've overcompensated for the crosswind coming in on the left-hand side, but they're not realizing that there's a lot of movement in the actual water itself in the first hundred off the line, but they're now compensated back on track. It is David Hunt and Sean Keeling from South Africa bang three feet off the booms here away from the top of the island and on the left hand side jake brown and sam thornton from manchester university but these guys from manchester university won senior uh, coxless pairs at the pairs head back in october last year and they won the elite coxless pairs at marlow regatta and that is an event that the stewards look at across all of the categories here at henry royal uh, when they look at the cd crews but you would expect here that um, david hunt and sean keeling Sean uh, lost the final of this event last year. In 2014, he was third at the World Rowing Championships with a different partner, Vincent Britt. He's changed his partner. David Hunt has come in here now. We would expect this is the pair that will represent South Africa at the World Championships later this year in Egg Bolet. And remember, Egg Bolet, the world's this year, is all about qualification for the Olympic Games next year. But look, that's just absolutely it was a bit of a textbook demonstration of how to do a start, wasn't it? I mean, because we had that real close-up and you could just see the short strokes, the short stabby strokes, they were up there at 45, 46, which in a pair, it's a brave thing to do, you know, and then they're up there and then still in the 40s at the end of the island and you could see there was just one stroke where probably the, the you know, bow would have called it and they brought it down two or three pips, still kept it high and now they've, now they've really settled and it's taken them out to a significant lead. I mean, you'd You'd have, you'd have expected it from, from, from these rowers, but they, again, they wanted to make absolutely sure. They wanted to, you know, practice their start and uh, race conditions. Look at the flags on the right-hand side, particularly those white ones, just showing you the cross tail that's benefiting the, uh, the crews at the moment, coming on in the first part of the race. Foden and Langridge are the top pair for uh, Great Britain in this event, and one of the... Uh, the favoured, overall favourites, they're safely through to uh, Saturday. For David Hunt and Sean Keeling in the first instance, they will know, they will have assessed going down to the start where the uh, the wind is and whether it, it's worth taking it on to uh, the barrier. It looks as though they've just settled down a little bit here. They, they've come off their top pace. They know they're clear. Yeah, you've got, you've, so you've got Manchester University pair. Uh, you know, they were still up at 35, 36. At, right, they were going to race it all the way, why wouldn't you? And But the, the South African pair now dropped it down to sort of 30, 31, just keeping it's From there, it, you know, it doesn't look like they're that much ahead, but I think, believe they are. But they've, they've got the measure of them, just taking a good look. It's difficult again to see the distances. You've got... Yeah, they're definitely... Yeah, you see, you, when, once you come with side on, it's just, you know, it's yeah. well opened up quite hard in those circumstances to keep the pace on even if you've got a bit of a breeze pushing you down it, it's cross but uh, occasionally apart it can give you a little bit of a push on on the tail side here and it's just it's a mark of the quality of the event that eric murray and hamish bond 2013 they equal the course record in this event of 656 that course record set way back in 1995 but by one sg redgrave and mc pinsent get top quality out there over the generations and of course quite quite unusually for henley there only is this class so if you want to row a pair this is your event and as we see here if you're rowing a pair and in your if you're a university crew then you're going to come up against an international crew and that you don't have any choice so except yesterday i do believe i invented a new boat class of, of, of rudderless pairs which um a, a new boat class at henley uh, just for that one-off race well, they're bringing under, in, under the pressure, they're bringing not, in lots of new, new events under the pressure so you can get that in. I'm not quite as, you know, under the pressure of the commentary seat, Gary, I'm not quite as experienced as you, and under, under the pressure, I think I got, I got
got that little bit confused, but um, I remember it kind of came back to me on the cycle home with a bit of a like, oh yeah, on the way back. But these, I mean, these, look at that. It's just, uh, when, you've got, when you've got a pair going well, that just feeling of that, you know, that the, ha the timing has to be so, so exact because if you don't, if it, the timing's not, in, not just the timing of the catch, but the timing of the pressure all the way through the stroke. If you're, when you're in a pair, and if you're not getting that together, it's, it's scary because the, the, the kick between, you know, you, you feel like you're gonna um, tip the boat over each time. So the feeling actually of racing flat out in a pair, which I haven't done many times, but the feeling of rep is, is just exhilarating. Sean Keeling to the right of your pitcher in the bow seat. Uh, won the goblets this event back in 2008 on that occasion for Trident uh, Rowing Club. So knows plenty about it, lots of experience. Again, this is an international pair. We would see them, although rowing for University of Pretoria, South Africa on this occasion. On the inter international side, they will line up at Lucerne next week, racing for South Africa. And this Manchester University pair, I mean, you know, this is not a bad pair. They, they, for, for what they do, they, they have said they won the senior pairs at the pair's head, which is pretty prestigious, and at Marlo Regatta a couple of weekends ago, and they won elite pairs. So this is a very, very good pair. And just against international competition, I think you just see, you see, you know, this is, this, this is what they have to do here. And again, as we say, you know, at Henley, where else do you get to do this? You come and give it a go and say you've raced the best in the world. That's, That's the magic of the place, that you can have a top club crew lining up against a top international standard crew here. Give it a go, get out there, try and challenge them. And now they've got you know, great memories here. And you know, hats, up to, hats off to Jake Brown and Sam Thornton from Manchester University. Through on to uh, the Friday quarterfinals day here. You know, this is, this is the one to win because it's one of the smallest boats. You've only got two people in it and you get three trophies. So you get two silver goblets and the Nichols Challenge Cup. Positively giving them away. So, exactly. So it's well worth, I mean, I, I went down again to look at the trophy. Um, the trophy's all laid out in the stewards' enclosure. They are amazing and uh, accumulated over the years through donations. So this originally was the silver goblets race. We need a, a Herbert Mowbray then, invitational <laughs> open quadruple skull coxed mix. I earned enough money to buy a big silver trophy like that. But here, yeah, and now you, you know you get the almost processional past the grandstands, but again, people know what they're watching. They know they're watching an in class international crew. I'm giving them the respect and little look there, to watch them. Just a little look at the progress board that we talk about. There, the cameras on the progress board, traditionally 10 strokes, and come Sunday afternoon, when you hear the roar of the crowd coming in, you're listening out in the Cox boats for progress board, 10 strokes out. But today, Hunt, David Hunt and Sean Keeling from University of Pretoria, South Africa, making it look very easy over Jake Brown and Sam Thornton from Manchester University. But again, it's the magic of this place is that club against country sometimes comes side by side. And where else? Here at Henley.